Welcome back Keep to another video. If you cannot already tell, I am literally at the gym right now. My husband just dropped me off. He had to go help them, a co worker because the car couldn't start, so I can go jump them. I haven't informed you guys, but for the past couple of days since I did that recipe video vlog, um, I've been having slight gout pains. I was diagnosed with it last year. It affects my left side of my foot. You know what's crazy is that I don't eat a lot of seafood or red meat. Sometimes that could come back the gout pain. But um, just mind over matter, I'm not even thinking of the pain. I do all the routines that I do, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. So bear with me because it's only me videoing it normally i have my daughter helping me videoing guys i wanted to share with you guys the waist trainer that i have so this is the waist trainer that i use as you can see it zips up right here and it has two little whatever you call these type it goes on like that i'll put the link of the waist trainer that i got i got this like a couple months back during the summer time this is affordable you guys i believe it was like um 20 dollars or so Ooh. Hey guys, I just ran 30 minutes. I did over two miles and 209 calories. So right now I'm taking like a little break. Let me see if you guys can see. My foot doesn't hurt as bad. I have some slight gout pain on my left side of my foot. That doesn't stop me from getting it in, y'all. All right, let me get back into this and finish this, you guys. How to do a bathroom break really quick. Is it me? Or I know there's other people that deal with this. I wake up and so bloated. It's ridiculous. Like, I don't know why and how. I drink a lot of water before I go to bed. But I don't know if it's due to me having gastritis in my stomach and really bad acid reflux. If there's any recommendations that you guys can comment down below to help with bloating, I looked up on Google and I seen apple cider vinegar with warm water but uh, I'm not too sure about that because I have like acid and that would really mess me up really bad if you guys are familiar with acid reflex you guys are understanding how it makes you feel after and they said ginger I never tried ginger but let me let me know you guys what could help with bloating because right now I'm like so bloated even wearing this um, waist trainer let me go ahead on and finish my routine Let's get it in you guys, let's get it in.
just finished working out. That's my everyday routine. And now I am gonna sit in this massage chair. This is really much needed. Oh Lord, this feels so good. Uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. I wanna know where you guys are all from. Comment down below and let me know where you all are from. I just got out of the shower guys. so I'm sitting on my bed right now okay let me switch right here so okay about earlier about my gout situation I just wanted to read to you guys really quick to inform my viewers if you guys are not aware of gout and if you're aware of gout you guys already know the symptoms and what triggers it I wanted to read here on my tablet right here if you can see some information about gout gout is a form of arthritis caused by excess excess uric acid in the bloodstream the symptoms of gout are due to the formation of uric acid crystals formed in the joints and in the body response to them so gout basically affects your fingers it could affect your knees it could affect your toes right now my foot is not really like inflamed and i'm gonna put a picture right here to show you how swollen the joint gets from excessive uric acid in the toes when you get attacks of gout on your feet and your feet swells up you can't even put a sheet over it you can't even like barely even touch it that's how painful it is worstest pain ever it's hard for me to walk you have to elevate your feet there's so much stuff that you have to do I do take two types of medications one to prevent it from getting bad and two for like the pain I really come a long way from my weight being at a high of 305 pounds back in 2010. And that was honestly from taking prednisone. I was on prednisone for 14 years of my life. At one point I was on like 60 milligrams. Also due to my lupus was really bad at the time. I had a really bad flare up. So I had to take that. Prednisone, if you're not familiar with that, it's like a steroid medication. How could I put it? It, it makes you hinchada, you know what I mean? It's like water, you, have, you retain a lot of water. Like when you're pregnant, you get so swollen. That's how I was. And if you guys wanna see, I wanna share with you guys a video, um, a vlog actually from my old channel. And the link will be down in the description. Go ahead on and watch, comment down on on this channel and let me know if you guys seen it and you guys can see what i'm talking about when you're so swollen on my old channel you guys i have a lot of videos of me you guys honestly i just go to the gym just to be healthy and i lost most of my weight if you guys are interested at home i started with just youtube videos and i stayed consistent monday through saturday just barely started going to the gym like two months ago i really love it i like going on the treadmill on the stairmaster i stay there for about like two hours because I take my time and it's different from what you're used to doing at home. Now, as we speak, I weigh about, the last time I weighed myself when I went to the doctor, I was about 174. Honestly, I never pay attention to the scale because those are just numbers. And you know, when you try to gain muscle, which I am trying to gain muscle, the numbers tend to go up and then you get discouraged. You'd be like, oh my Lord, I'm gaining weight. You know, what could I do to prevent it? I'm not even bothered by it or even worried about like the numbers. I just go to the gym to make myself feel better and health wise, just to be healthy. That's all I go to the gym, you guys. And honestly, it's made me feel so good. Even though like with having lupus, it makes you feel fatigued and tired. And the weather, you guys, the, the weather is so cold and gloomy. Like today it was really cold. It was about in the 50s. I just don't think about it and I just go to the gym. I didn't wash my hair because I washed it like yesterday and I tend not to wash my hair like every day. So I have long hair and I just wash it every two days. <coughs> Plus, I'm going to be going to the store to stock up on water. I hope you guys enjoyed my workout routine. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right now, you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for always supporting me. Let's keep this channel growing in Jesus' name. God is good. God is real. You guys are strong. You guys are beautiful. Stay blessed. You could achieve anything you want in life. God bless you guys. Love you guys.